Welcome back, you Muppets. You voted for it. I'm going to call you that. If you don't like it, should have voted for something else. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, guys. Welcome back. It's King Boomer. Queen Boomer will be back soon. When? We don't know. But she will be. Uh, this is uh, part two reaction to Carl versus Steve, all the insults. This is from his famous podcast, the Ricky Gervais Show podcast. Um, part one was very fun. Part two should be just as fun. So I'm just going to get right into it. Let me get this set up. And hopefully there will be some pretty good insults. Let's check it out. By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. So, a few more shows. And I, I, I hope Sony are happy. Mm. They should encourage, you know, we've only been radio, you know, a couple of years. Exactly. They should encourage young, ta you encourage young talent yeah. like you. Yeah. Instead of giving it to Radio 1 and Radio 2 mm. and... The old war horses. We just had a quick email. I wonder if you can answer this. It's James from NW1. He says, Ricky, is Carl going to be on this week's show? Please let me know as I may listen if he's not. <laughs> Um, sadly, oh, he is here. Indeed. I mean, people are already turning against you, Carl, because they've seen what's happened. Yeah. I think they've probably realised that we've I think we gave you too much. Enough. I think, exactly, I think we've got a spoiled sort of kid in our hands. It's sort of like, you know, we, we knew, we knew how bad he was, but we were trying to sort of bring him out of his shell a little bit. Yeah. Encourage, you've got to encourage sort of, um, children like Carl. Well, yeah, exactly. Just exactly. sort of fend for themselves. Mm. Um, but, uh, I like the fact that Dickie Anderson had that wonderful... Ran. It, I mean, it was an articulate email. It was quite long, and he must have typed it immediately. I'm thinking because he's a fan of the show and he, he thinks I'm a you know a genius. We need a PA, sure, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon he'd come and work for us? Um, well, it can't be any worse than what we've already got. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You know. So there you go. Then we're giving up. We're giving up radio. We're going to concentrate on television. Carl's going to probably go back to what your little. Just doing your well, sound. The thing I won a silver for at the Sony's. Funny that, mm. isn't it? Oh, you won a silver, did you? I got a silver, yeah. Oh, for yeah doing, what was that for? for doing the proper job that I do here in the week. Well, no, no it's two of you for a start. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. Can't even get a bronze. Now, who's the weak link? <laughs> right? <laughs> well. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's get. Let's look. Let's get, let's not argue. We haven't got many shows to do. To be fair, though, this this show is, is. I think it's more to do with the fact that you talk on this show that has brought us down. Right, I haven't said anything hardly today. No, well, this is an award-winning show, potentially. <laughs> we'll add this one in for yeah. next year. <laughs> oh. If we could just keep shtum, we might have a chance. Alright. Well, coming up, right. Carl. Let's put it behind us. Okay. Let's draw a line under it. Uh, that wasn't too Stephen bad. Stephen co-wrote and, uh, directed The Office and Extras with me. Um, you may have seen him in Extras as the agent. Uh, you may have seen him briefly in The Office. He is a goggle-eyed freak. <laughs> You're referring to the character there, are you? Or? Yeah, whatever. Even Ricky's Thanks. taking a go at Steve's um, no, well, <laughs> no, no, it's just a little bit I'm just trying to paint a picture for people at Christmas. Sure. Steve. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say goggle -like. I think goggle -like freak's harsh. You know, these are pretty, these are designer specs. And, uh, right. yeah, admittedly I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tall, but, uh... Six foot seven. Yeah, but let's not have a go at that. Carl, we've got more like this later. I think we should play a record. We've done introductions. Yeah, pop a little song on. But do you remember well, the first time you saw Steve? Well, let, let's, let's pop a little song on on that, all right? Chat about it in a bit. Uh, uh -huh. Bruce Springsteen. Bit of Bruce Springsteen. Now, uh, it's difficult to describe Carl, I just think you'll have to get to know him over the next, um, two hours. But, um, we have, um, uh, taken the liberty of getting some stuff ready for you if you want to find out more about him. If you go to rickygervais.com, we've put up a special little page. Go into Who's Carl, and we've got a little biography up of him, and loads of pictures. And you have never seen a head rounder. Than, he looks like Mr. Spoon from Button Moon. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or Bod. Yeah. Bod. Grown up. Like There's it, a little yeah. bit of Charlie Brown in there. Charlie He's even got Brown. a little striped <laughs> shirt. Brown. It's perfectly rounded. It's balding, <laughs> like, to... And it's not, it's not a sort of, like, a, a good balding. It's sort of like, he looks like a worn <laughs> tennis ball. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's got a little bit of growth. <laughs> it's yeah. not that sort of Teddy, Teddy Savalas cool bald. No. It's just a scruffy little, I don't know what it mm. is. Happy it, Christmas and that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that then, Carl? Your introduction to the nation. Well, you know, if we're going to start picking on looks and stuff, like you mentioned before, we can we can go over everyone in this room. What? So, I mean, let's make it fair. What? Let's, <laughs> have, a chat, let's have a chat about about Steve over there. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know, 
sort of how I felt when I first saw you. Wait, wait, wait! Don't go mad, Steve. Let Carl speak. Right, this is his platform. No, no, I'm just saying. You just said about painting a picture. Yeah, go on then. I wouldn't paint a picture of that. (laughs) No, I'm not, Steve. You know I'm not having a go, mate. What do you you mean you're not having a go? It sounds like you're having a go. (laughs) What did you think when you first saw him? When when he first walked into that room all those years ago? Uh, sort of thought he looked like a cartoon. No, no, Steve. You know, you know, but you know that you look a little bit odd. This, this what? isn't like a, this isn't like a shock <laughs> to you. You've had this. How old are you now? Thirty-one. Right, but so I don't you're thir- like thirty-one. I don't, I don't, what do you look like as a baby? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Why I, is this a character assassination? No, no, I'm, not, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying what it was like. Now, I'm, I'm used to you now. When I see you, I don't sort of double take anymore. <laughs> I just. He's coming out of this. No, but you know when, when you popped in and that, it was just a bit of a shock, and now. You know, I've, I've got used to it in that. He's good, still happy going. now. You can cope now. Yeah. Hold on, you were shocked when you saw Steve Merchant. You told me once you went to school with two fellas who had big heads and webbed hands and feet, yeah. and they weren't related. Why? Why were there two people like that at your school? And yet you find Steve <laughs> freaky. You never said freaky. <laughs> you said freaky. Oh you said freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Carl, it was you that worked out the maths. And worked out I was 28 because they just worked out I'm 27. You are 27. No way. Yeah, I to- I asked you, didn't I? And yeah, I said because, no, but what I sort of questioned was I said, well, if you're 27 today, that means last week you were 26. Well, well done. Yeah, that's um, irrelevant. So, so therefore, you assumed that I must be 28 then. Yeah. Whereas I, I assumed you were using, you know, your knowledge of maths no, such as I, it is. I won't do that. No, sure, sure. Wow, I, I actually got lost in that. Actually, hey, so sorry to pause it. I don't know if this is true. Is it maths or math when you say it? Um, I saw something about a distinction between this like a couple weeks ago, not even on YouTube, like elsewhere. But uh, I, th- I, someone said the proper way to say it is maths with an, with an S. Don't know if that's true, but let me know about that. Because I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what you meant with, would mean last week you were 20. You were using, you know, your knowledge of maths, no, such as no, it is. No, I wouldn't do that. No, sure, sure. Wow. I, I actually got lost in that conversation because I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what you meant with, would mean last week you were 26. <laughs> I don't I know what that <laughs> I meant. I don't know what it meant. Wow. Well, it is Steve's birthday. Well, and it would have been 26 last week. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you at, you genuinely frighten me because it's those staring eyes. There's nothing behind him. It's this little bald head. It looks like Davros looking at me. Genuine, <laughs> just genuine fear on his face when he <laughs> enters into a conversation with another human but what, being. What bit don't you understand? If he was, if he's 27 today, he would have been 26 last week, and he doesn't look 26. He didn't look 26 last week. He looks older than 28 today. You've started on, on his birthday, you're still having a go at him. Carl, I don't look like the kind of hot stud that I actually am, but face facts, that's the <laughs> truth, mate. Yeah, get live with, with it. it. Get with live the program, jeez. Carl, just, I, I, I don't want to, I'm not stirring it, right? You, you started a little bit of a war with Steve, you, you always have. stirring it. Well, no, 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 well, this no. Is what, this is stirring right now, this is, this oh. is the terminology. But, do you know that the fellas in your school, yeah. The big heads and webbed feet and webbed hands. <laughs> this thing again. Yeah. But, but they hung around together, did they? Uh, I don't think they did. And they were nothing to do with each other? No. I think people expected them to sort of knock about together. But they, they must have thought, oh, that's, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> 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 but where did you live? Near a power plant? Well, I mean, why, why did you have- I don't think it had anything to do with that though. Just sometimes you get a little- look at Steve, he didn't live near a power plant. <laughs> No, no, listen, can I just stop you there, right? Let me just stop you there because I know oh, mad. it always happens. As soon as we, we, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a nice day and suddenly you're yeah, having yeah, a go, right? I, I now, this, is got, this got sent on the email, okay? Now, this is not me saying this. This is someone who's forwarded a review that was put put on the web. It was a review of your appearance on one of Ricky's stand-up comedy DVDs, oh okay? I'm God. reading, I'm quoting this. This is not me saying it. Oh my it God. It says that uh, Carl, through a combination of his intriguing way of thinking and slightly less than human appearance, <laughs> Right, Carl may just be the proof needed to muffle the cries of creationists the world over, as this missing link demonstrates that not only did man evolve from apes, but the process isn't quite finished yet. Okay, now that's someone else, an external person's opinion of you. But you the, the, the terrible thing about that is, Carl's feelings aren't hurt because he didn't understand a word of that. I said the word creationist, that lost it. <laughs> Ricky chimes in and says he didn't understand a word of that. (laughs) Oh, oh, 
I thought that was going to like wind down and then Ricky just ramped it up. Oh my god. Oh, holy crap. Oh. Oh, I got to breathe after that one. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, this stuff is too funny. <laughs> okay, now that's someone else, an external person's <sighs> opinion of you. But you the, go the, the terrible thing about that is, Carl's feelings aren't hurt because he didn't understand a word of that. I said the word creationist, that lost it. That lost it. You've got to remember that Carl, you know when um, people say they're talking to their cat and they go, oh look, look at him, look at it, it's like he can understand what we're saying. Well, Carl's got that look, but you know he can't understand yeah. what, what what you're saying. Alright, Carl? Mm -hmm. No, but all I mean, now we're, now we're talking about your head and that, right? When you go back, to say your mum and dad, it's Christmas time, right? There's a lot of people <laughs> travelling up and down the country, going back to the mum and dad. They probably haven't seen them all year, right? <laughs> when you go back, <laughs> is it a shock to them again? <laughs> <laughs> no, do, do you know like how you get used to how someone? Like I say, I'm used to you. I see you a few times a week. I don't do the double take. But what I mean is, when you go back, do they sort of go, "Oh, here he is." You know what I mean? <laughs> Play record. This is it's. I, Let's leave it then. Let's Ricky's move on then because I'm, 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 I'm gonna, gonna get angry and we again. haven't even got. It's only. It's not even <laughs> twenty five pounds. Right. Christmas. Oh. Uncle, yeah. Right? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh man. So, what have you been doing this week, Steve? Well, um, I'll tell you what. At the beginning of the week, I was um, incredibly annoyed by Carl. Why? Um, no. Uh, well, no, because you. I remember you had a little discussion with Carl a while back, saying that um, you thought he was lazy at times. Yeah. And you know, you had various criticisms of yeah, his, his, yeah, his work. Yeah, yeah. And I got a call from him. He said, uh, "Oh yeah, I should have told you. Um, I had a phone call. Someone said that they were trying to get hold of Steve Merchant to offer him some lucrative voiceover work." Now you know that, that is money like, for old it's money rope. For rope. That's it's about you're in there for about twenty minutes, and it's thousands if of pounds. If there are children listening who are still at school, they should definitely, when the careers guy says, "What do you want to do?" Try and get voiceover, voiceover work. work. Just become a voiceover artist. It's money for old rope. Yeah. So I can't believe my luck because yeah. you know I love money for old rope. Yeah. And um, I said, well, what was the information? He said, oh, oh, I don't know. I deleted the message. It was on his answer when he deleted the message. I said, right, when did the message come? He said, last week. So he took a week to tell me Why? that he had deleted the message. Why? Because it wasn't for you. I mean, I don't know how selfish that is, Carl. Is that, no, what happened is, right? I got back off holiday. Mm. I was at home. Yeah. So I called up my voicemail. Yeah. Because right, I can do that. Yeah. Remote access, right? Because I've got to know what's going on at work. Of course. Called in. It was still my day off. I was going through the messages. Yes. Heard one from some company saying we're after Steve Merchant. Yeah. We want him to do some voiceover work. Yeah. Right. Mm. I can't remember the name of it, but Thanks. I thought right, I'll, I'll remember to tell Steve. A week I later. It doesn't matter, <laughs> does it? You still got the message, and they. they what, what was the message? Yeah, the voiceovers have to be done in the next. Couple but I didn't of days. get the message. I got all I got was there was a company I don't remember the name, and they phoned you. They wanted voiceover. Well, how does that help me? There are hundreds of thousands of media companies. I, I you didn't take down a number. You didn't take down a name. Nothing. I, I was more puzzled why they'd want you to voice anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I don't yeah, but listen know. to that voice. Oh, you must be annoyed. Oh. You must be annoyed. Wanna, I mean, talk about rubbing salt into the wound. No, but listen to you. Oh God. I don't know what you. I don't know how you think. I don't know what how your mind works. Well, I was thinking there must be a tractor sail on somewhere. <laughs> I don't. What do I care? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The worm turned. I don't care if they want me to advertise. You know, <laughs> the latest designs in pirate fashion wear. I will do a voiceover because it's money for all I don't care what you think of my voice. Someone was interested. They were offering me money. And you decided arbitrarily, <laughs> oh, they probably wouldn't want it. They probably made a mistake. I, they wouldn't like the way he talks anyway. I'll delete the message. No, the thing is, right, I what get paid. Go? I get paid to sit here on a Saturday, yeah. right? Play CDs and that, help out with the show, get you decent prizes. I think I, I, I do me bit. Sure. Right? It isn't about running your voiceover work. So hang on, so Carl, let me just get this right. If someone was ever to phone me, right, trying to get in touch with you, to offer you work, you'd want me to just ignore the message. That is what you're saying to me. You'd prefer that I deleted the message, I ignored it altogether. That's what you'd want for me to do. That's what you want me to do. What, someone's calling you for some Someone's phoned me. me. They say, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a friend of a friend, I've got your number, Steve. Uh, I'd love to use Carl Pilkington for a, 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 an well, exciting sex scene. Well, you've never so has it happened? Has well, it happened? well that's what I'm saying, in the future, if it was to occur, <laughs> if it was to occur, do you want me to just ignore it? Is that what you prefer me to do? <laughs> Ricky! Uh, well, it's not like that, though. I, I did tell you, I told you the message. You didn't tell- what? You told me a week later with none of oh. the information I needed. Carl, um, that doctor called last week, that kidney's ready for that, um, little girl that you were doing that sponsored walk for. 
I forgot to tell you. Oh. I hope it's still alright. They keep it on ice, don't they? Alright, that's probably a good place to stop. I'll do a part two soon. But that is, <laughs> they were getting pretty heated this time. Oh, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't paint a picture of that. And then the, the other, my, I think my favorite one was when you go back to see your family, is it a shock to them again? <laughs> this is gold. I love these. Ricky, Carl, Steve, I love all three. They're fantastic. Um, somebody mentioned where to find their podcast. Um, I, maybe it's on Spotify. Let me know because it's... Somebody suggested I should listen to it while I'm driving, and um, that sounds like a fantastic idea because I do make uh, long road trips every few weeks. So, yeah, let me know about that. I'll be keep on be putting um because this is like an hour and forty minutes. I got to keep separating it into different parts in order to do the reaction. But I'll try to uh, do it more frequently. I think it was like two weeks ago when I put up the first one. But uh, thank you guys for watching. For all you boomerites and muppets out there, have a great day, okay? See you next time.